started playing Quidditch in high school. Uh, I had a couple of friends who did it. Um, so I just played it like a year in high school. Then I came to BYU, and I saw him last semester, uh, last fall, and just saw him at the Wilk one day and decided to come play, and I came to a couple of practices and started playing with him. It's not just something kids come and play on Saturday. It's, it's for real. Come play. We will probably tackle you. And the first time you get a face beat, you'll know it's a sport. <laughs> It's actually an international certified organization, just like MLB, um, NFL, all of those types of things. The Quidditch has its own international organization and a U.S. organization called USQ. And there are teams in France, in Italy, in Spain. There are teams all over the world. So I played at Boise. We played a tournament called uh, Tree City. In Flagstaff, we played... Um, it's called Lumberjack, and then we played another one in Salt Lake called Snow Cup, and then just most recently we went to uh, UCLA and played at the Western Regionals. I feel like I learned a lot of the values in my life from Harry Potter, um, from the trio, and also like the other characters in the books as well. You just feel like your family when you read those books. The principles in the book, the books and the movies have really influenced my life. I did, a, I did an essay um, for a French class last year that explained how Harry Potter readers are more uh, tolerant towards immigrants and kind towards their their friends. And it was a really cool study. And so I, I've seen that in myself and you can see that the younger generation is more liberal. And I think that's because of books like Harry Potter.